Good evening. Tonight's creation is to do with 4G antennas. So, at the moment, uh, my uh, internet goes through this machine. So I've got two bars of signal, and that's not good enough. So, on the Chris and YouTube page, you can create this antenna using these dimensions but threaded rod into a booster gun for 3G it says 2100 megahertz but in the UK 4G is running at 2100 megahertz so that translates to this which I've crafted together today the only thing we do need is a way to connect that to the um, uh, the thing over there the 4G router so I've got this crappy 4G booster thing from China and it's got the right connectors on, it's got a bit of coax, probably really rubbish coax and all that was inside was this little PCB or it's actually a couple of PCBs that they snap apart so they're obviously just getting halfway cut and etched so what we're going to do is connect these coax wires to the correct positions on this the 4G gun we can't say the word gun there because it's dangerous on YouTube so it's a 4G antenna and we'll see if we can make an improvement but first things first we need to go on here let's look, let's look over here what I here we go this is what the phone says so we're doing pretty good Three he e even actually running better than usual. Yeah, that's enough. And the upload which is usually terrible. This is what I'm hoping to improve. Just give me a little bit more upload speed. Because uploading YouTube videos over that speed is time consuming. And there we go. So we do this again on the computer, and then we shall do some soldering to create this, and we'll try again. I was getting this Microsoft opening screen. It's like, how do I get it to go away quicker than swiping it and clicking everywhere? Because it's annoying. annoying. Yeah, computer's connected by Ethernet, so we'll see what it does. The adverts looking there everywhere. So the computer does a little bit better. Being that it's on Ethernet. 39 millisecond ping. But I don't expect the upload to be any better. Because I think we're really limited by the strength of the signal. Yeah, look at that. That's what isn't working at the moment very well for me on YouTube. So maybe with a better antenna, we might be able to uh, do better than that. Right, so here's that useless antenna. This isn't quite what they had in mind for the way I'm going to connect this, but I am going to mount this with coax properly if it actually works. So that can go. We're looking back centre frame there. So I'm just going to strip a bit of the coax off. So what I'm going to do instead, because the idea is I'm supposed to mount, say, there and there drill through, mount the ground of the coax onto this play, this plane in two places, 90 degrees offset from each other, and then the actual coax is going to connect to the, the first disc. So these are deflectors, whatever they call them. So yeah, I'm not going to do that because I'm drilling holes, I can't be bothered. I'll drill holes if it works. So here's the shoulder. I'm to try and get a piece on the edge plate if I can get this to warm up enough to just to take a tiny piece. Oh we're gonna be ask we're asking a lot from this poor iron at this point. Is it gonna do it? Come on. I'm not going to the van to get more tools. <laughs> no. 
it's crying. It's crying and suffering. Right, plan B. I've got an idea. I simply refuse to go to the van to get more tools, so I'm going to try and solder it a bit more, get a bit more flux in, and then I'm going to add some heat from the back. See if that's enough to get her to. Oh, there we go. I've got a pull on there now. It smells horrible. So we're going to go 90 degrees out. This one here. A bit more solder. I'm going to add some heat from the back to try and speed the process up. And we're away. So all of that there, put a bit on, see it's refusing to do anything with it. I'm going to try and help it out with a bit more heat from underneath, and there you go. See, you might as well get the flow. 90 degrees out. Try and flow a bit more into the iron, the iron's sticking, it's some stupid stuff. Checking if we hold it long enough at the tape. I don't know, I ain't got time. There it goes. Just that little bit more heat. I suppose you see this work with a bit of heat. There she goes, she's flowing. A little extra trick for you. Trick not of the trade. There we are. That's flown a bit. Let's pour iron. It doesn't stand a chance. Yeah. Right. Or we're going to blow up my router. Let's put this back to sleep. We have a thing. The thing is hot. Right, so with these Huawei EE 4G routers, we've actually got to change some settings for it to work. So it's a 192.168.8.1. So we're going to go to settings, going to put our admin password in. Moment, look, we've got, okay, we get home. So you can have a little one bar, see what happens. Settings, system, zoom you in a bit, system, antenna settings. And we're going to change that to external and apply. And it's now going to reboot, as far as I know. I think it reboots, I have no idea. I think I don't know if I actually applied that then. Settings antenna settings. Stern apply. Right, let's see what happens. Alright, ignore my messy floor. We have nothing. So take the antenna and point it out the door like so. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. What's he gonna do? Because there you go, we've got two bars. Remember we had two bars before, it's gone to orange, which means it's on something or other. We're pointing out the door at the moment, over here. And gone to four bars, orange, which means we're on 3G. What I'm going to have to do... Come on, blue, blue, five bars! Oh my god, that is the most I've ever seen. Right. Can I stay still enough? Tell you what, we keep this as one cut. I'm going to try uh, Recording still image is impossible. What we're going to do, I'm going to set this up in a stand so I don't have to hold it. One sec. Right. Slight improvisation. We're now sat on the, uh, the camera tripod. I know for a fact the actual antenna is roughly that direction. I think we're just building back up to it now. We haven't got full signal yet. Oh, yeah, fucking place is a mess. Yes, there is cable everywhere. So we're down three bars. Is it because I've damaged something? Regardless, what we're going to do? <laughs> See if it's any better. Let's um, on speed test again. Right, go. Just connecting. This <laughs> could be just the same. Oh, strong possibility. Oh my word! Look at that. Yeah. So it does work. 
it does work really well. I'm not even joking here. This is for there is so many flying creatures coming into my house. Upload, come on. <laughs> this is what I need to improve, and it's still no good. Why? Why can't you be better? What I might do is restart. I don't know if I move away from the antenna any better. Hmm. Let me angle the antenna around a bit and see if I can find a better uh, find a better signal. The best I've been able to get so far with it just pointing at the door and letting all of the flies into my house. Let's uh, speed test on the computer. I don't care about cookies and nobody else does either. Alright, let's see what we get. Oh mm, yeah, she's picking up. Maybe I could adjust the antenna a bit better. I think it's going to work a lot better when I mount it up on the roof. I bet the upload's still going to suck. The upload really sucks. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run a speed test on my phone and adjust the angle of the antenna at the same time. Maybe that's the way to do it. Fine tune. Either way, we're getting results. Right, so I've been fishing about this for a while and I've just managed to get 94 by adjusting the antenna. We're just doing it all on the computer just to make provings. Let's load all the adverts. And of course it's going to go slower now. I wonder if it's because I'm stood next to it when I'm on the phone. I don't know. I don't know if she's, if she's away now. But the upload is suffering. Right, good evening. We're still messing with this antenna. This is the next day. So we're going to go outside, be attacked by all the flies. Around. Put the roof out on the wall. Four out of five bars. Got the antenna gun. In the dark, obviously. No gaps to open. Get rid of it. Right, so we want to go to speed test. Let's turn the light off behind it so you can see it better. There we go. Go. Let's see what we're getting now. At 96, I just got 103. But I still can't get that upload speed. Look at it. It's, <laughs> it's double what it was indoors, in some cases, triple. Right, so what we're going to do now, all in one take, if I can manage this, you're going to sit here, I'm going to go into here, I'm going to, well, 192.81, we've still got a shot of this, we can go to the router's actual control page, settings, username, admin, and the password which I have changed surprisingly settings system antenna settings now this is set to external I'm going to put that back to internal just to see what the difference is and apply that, that came up with the message didn't it I'm pretty sure it's done it I pressed it twice. So yeah, now it's set to internal. Let's have a look back at the router. The router has gone back down to two bars. All in one take. And back to this. My hands off the microphone. Let's go back to the speed test. Oh come on. This way up now. Thank you. Well just want to speed test again. Go. And there we are. 
30, 40. I wonder if the upload will be better. This is the question. Is this antenna any good for upload? Download is one thing, but I need to be able to upload. Yeah. So we're definitely making an improvement. So let it finish. It's climbing. One megabit. That's about what I get when I'm trying to upload a video. Right. So let's go back to this one. Zoom in. We want to change that back. Oh, come on. External. Zoom out. Apply. It's now gone back to four four bars immediately. Back to the speed test. Go. Would be great because we're not giving it time, but no, she's flying. Hundred. Hundred and two. It's longer. It's hundred and two and. Yeah, three to four megabit. Sometimes pushing a tiny bit more. There you go, proof's in the pudding. Right, so we've done that. The trouble is with this, this setup's running on these two external wires, which are running up here Ugh. on the other side of the antenna. So one's connecting there and there, 90 degrees out from each other. And just going into the back there. So they're connecting to that rear ground plane and this, what's called a reflector and the collector. I think these are called collectors, I don't know. But there we go. That's the end of this video. And eventually I'll stick it on the roof. So it's dark now, but. It is what it is. I get home from work late, so. Well. <laughs> I'm going to take a, a snap, a screenshot now to put as the title. Thanks for watching.